Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you the amazing physics of the phi top. So the phi top is a prolate ellipsoid. It has a length to width ratio of the golden mean, 1.618. Whoa, look how cool that looks. It looks like it's just this gelatinous metal kind of pulsating. That is so cool. So it's still just spinning around, but it looks like it's actually a blob of metal pulsating up and down. And even once it's slowed down, now it begins to look like it's pulsating again. Whoa, that looks weird. Now the question of how this can raise its center of gravity higher after you've already released it has been puzzling scientists for a long time. So in order to understand how this works, you have to understand how a gyroscope falls. So when a spinning gyroscope falls, it doesn't simply tip over and fall to the ground, but it slowly falls to the ground in widening concentric circles. But instead of gravity pulling it down, when I first start spinning the egg, I have a different force acting on it. And that force is actually the friction of the table that it's on. And so the friction of the table that it's on actually causes a torque that causes it basically to process upwards. So it's actually the frictional force on the plate here that's responsible for lifting it upwards in the air. So that means if I had a table with more friction, I would be able to get it to stand up easier. And you can see that's the case. Look how fast I have to spin it to get it up on its end. If I just do a normal spin like that, I can't get it up on its end. But watch what happens if I do this on a piece of wood now. So look how easy I can get it up on its end now. Or if I add a piece of paper below it, it's really easy to get up on its end. Now you can actually mimic this effect even if you don't have one of these aluminum eggs here. You can actually just use a hard boiled egg. And it has to be hard boiled. If you don't have a hard boiled egg, then when you try to spin the egg, the center of the egg will just stay in place because it's just a liquid not really attached to the outside of the shell. So basically you'll just be spinning the outside of the shell and the center will stay there and it won't spin. Now the other cool thing about this aluminum egg, this fee top, is that it's made of pure aluminum, which isn't magnetic. So I can bring my giant neodymium magnet near it and it doesn't attract it at all. But what happens inside of it is it does produce eddy currents. So watch what happens when I spin my egg now and bring my magnet near it. So it's spinning just fine. And basically it's gonna put the brakes on it. Now this is actually the reverse of the effect that help play a role in the triumph of AC electricity versus DC electricity. So Nikola Tesla famously rotated a copper egg with a three-phase AC electric uh, unit. Basically, he created a three-phase AC current that generated a time-varying magnetic field that spun a copper egg. Basically, it started spinning it until it could get up on its end. And I can actually kind of simulate this now just by using my magnet. So if I just make it fly past it at the right frequency, then I can get it to spin. And if I time it right, then I can just speed up the egg by bringing my magnet near it at the right time. <clears throat> but I can't spin it fast enough to get it up on its end. That's where you need a really fast AC current to pulse it at just the right frequency. Now the other really cool effect of this is based on the reflection of light on it as it spins, it creates something called Lissajou figures. So these are the figures that you can create with um, coupled harmonics. So basically when you have pendulums coupled together, you can get these specific patterns. So watch what happens when I just show the reflection of a light on the egg as I spin it. Thank you. 
And these Lissajous patterns show up when you have complex harmonic motion. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you learned something. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And you can hit the bell so you can be notified when my latest video comes out. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Whoa, look how cool that looks. It looks like it's just this gelatinous metal kind of pulsating. That is so cool. So it's still just spinning around, but it looks like it's actually a blob of metal pulsating up and down. And even once it's slowed down, now it begins to look like it's pulsating again. Whoa, that looks weird. It's like it's growing and shrinking. Oh. <laughs>